Welcome to my Apple USB-C Digital AV Multiport Adapter Review. The summary is that th this is a useful adapter, but with a couple of serious hidden limitations and a relatively big price tag. So this is a 75 US dollar, or what I paid was 99 Australian dollars adapter, and it's the kind of adapter you'll buy if you own uh, and a MacBook M1 MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro M1. Uh, and you need the ability to plug in an external monitor using an HDMI port. The advantage of this device is that it has its own USB-C port capable of receiving the charger, and that lets you get the expansion without taking up your last remaining USB-C port on, on your M1 MacBooks. On the M1 MacBook Air and Pro, it'll drive a 1080p monitor at 60Hz or an ultra-high definition monitor, which is just short of 4K, at 30Hz. And there's some other models of Macs that it will do ultra-high definition at 60Hz, but, and you can pause the video here if you want to read which ones they are. The USB uh, Type-A port is the fast kind, so it's at least 5 gigabits. It might be 10 gigabits, but I don't think so. Anyway, it worked flawlessly uh, and fast with all of my USB-A drives. There is a USB Type-C port on the adapter, but this is where the limitations come in. This isn't a fully functional port. It's for charging only. It doesn't deliver power to any device plugged into the port. I plugged in uh, an SSD and the drive doesn't power up or mount. I plugged uh, this pictured Ethernet and three USB-A port adapter in and again, it doesn't work. There's no power delivered to it. This means that you can't use the extra USB-C port uh, as anything other than for powering the laptop, which is a bit disappointing. Now there's a second hidden limitation, and that is that even when you plug your power adapter into it, there's a hard 24 watt limit of power that will pass through this adapter. And it doesn't matter if you plug in a 30 or a 61 or a 96 watt charger through this device, the most the laptop will get is 24 watts. Uh, and the only way to bypass that is to plug the, the power charger into the spare USB port, USB-C port on the Mac, basically using up that leftover port. Um, so that's quite a limitation. I mean, in reality, 24 watts is ample, and I've been running it that way, and my laptop charges just fine. But if you needed to fast charge your laptop and want to get the maximum amount of your power adapters, this isn't the way to do it. Overall, yes, it works, and when you buy it from Apple, you get the confidence that you can return it if it doesn't, um, and you you know it's going to work with Apple products. Um, but it is very expensive, uh, 75 US dollars. You can buy third-party adapters that have exactly this functionality off eBay or some other vendor, and you're paying about a quarter of the price. So you can save somewhere around 60 US dollars just by buying not Apple. And if you're prepared to take the risk, I think you should do it, do that. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got anything to comment or if you think I've made a mistake in this video, please put something down below. I'll see you in the next video.